In David G. Benner's book, The Gift of Being Yourself, chapter three, which is entitled, First Steps Toward Knowing Yourself. Page 54, there is a passage that reads, Christian spirituality involves acknowledging all our part selves, exposing them to God's love and letting him weave them into the new person he is making. To do this, we must be willing to welcome those or these ignored parts as full members of the family of self, giving them space at the family table and slowly allowing them to be softened and healed by love and integrated into the whole person we are becoming. Again, this is very similar to the concept of the shadow self. And in understanding the shadow self, these are the parts of ourselves which not only we have ignored, but we we tend to push away because they are undesired parts. They are the parts of us that we see in others that are so parts of ourselves, the ignored parts. For instance, I may look at someone and say, I hate how his face looks, or I hate how he speaks to people. Interestingly enough, that'll probably be what I hate in myself. I may hate that part of myself that speaks to people in ways that make me uncomfortable. That's a shadow part of ourself. But what Benner um, acknowledges here in his book is that in order for us to know God, we must know ourselves and vice versa. But that it is more important to delve into ourself because it is, interestingly enough, more difficult to cultivate ourself and to recognize what being ourself really is. And to go from yourself to God is a great leap. But always the first step is to know yourself. When I look around, and I want to understand where I am and what I'm doing. I look to people often and see that people are lost. I'm lost. We don't really know ourselves. Hell, how can we when the world is constantly telling us what we are anyway? The news media the church, social media, people at work constantly telling us what we need to believe, what we need to say, and yet it's very far from Christ, these things. And we're constantly being bombarded by things that are not of God, things that shun God or make it seem as if the beliefs that we hold are somehow throwbacks to the medieval times. It makes me think that 
we are being overrun by a culture of morality and dictated our own values. This is uh, the antithesis of what God intended for us. We are to seek what we are in him. It's very hard to do that when the circumstances are as I have said. What must, what must one do? I think we have to face the frightening aspects of ourselves. For me, is my relationship with verbal abuse and how that type of abuse has been normalized within the black community. How the way we speak to one another is basically angry and disrespectful. And I think this the types of relationships that are that I have grown up with where people have hard time have a hard time sharing their feelings and being warm and caring and considerate to one another these types of relationships are usually cultivated within single mother homes or single parent homes You'd be hard pressed to refute this because a lot of the, the situations that that follow from this type of of anger, this type of frustration that you see, is simply in those neighborhoods where there's the highest amount of crime, the highest amount of high school dropouts, um, the highest amount of recidivism. I guarantee, without even blinking an eye, you'll see those are the same neighborhoods that people have a hard time relating to one another, caring for one another, having love for one another. Look, you don't have to believe me, You have to take my word for it. But those are the frightening parts of of my community and the pieces of myself that I must look at. There there are parts of me that, that really fear living a life like that in a way where I'm so closed off that I can't feel anything. And I was so close to living this type of life, but God had mercy on me by sending me my wife. And I'm thankful for her. I'm thankful for... for what she's allowed me to do in pushing myself to be a better, more feeling, more loving, more caring husband, father, brother and son even with the hell I put her through God be praised I'm often ashamed of the things that I have said to her and um, the verbal abuse that she's that she's received from me. I hope this is helpful. And once again, the book that I was looking at is called The Gift of Being Yourself. The Sacred Call to Self-Discovery by David G. Benner. And you can pick that up on Amazon. 
and I think it's also available on Audible. Anyway, thank you so much. This has been the Black Lex. Have a good night.